Welcome to this week's episode of Now Loading. I'm Big Ant. I'm BioMonkey. And I'm Death Vanquished. Welcome back to the show, Ant. Thanks, Bio. You know, it sure is great to be back. You seem to be happier than normal. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm happier than I've ever been in a long time. You know, E3 2013 is right around the corner, and I have nothing but optimism. Really? Fuck no. Being a gamer sucks right now. Ah, there's the good old foul mouth gamer. That's right, I'm back and fucking uncensored. Booyah, check this. Oh, I couldn't see that. Alright, alright, put your pants back on. You know what? I haven't had fudge or brownies in a while. Oh my god, dude, I could totally go for some fudge right now. Really? I don't like fudge. Dude, how the fuck do you not like fudge? I just don't like it. Dude, you know what? I bet you probably had one of those stupid little Debbie fudge cake things once, and now you don't fucking like fudge. Yeah, you have to have homemade fudge. Dude, fuck yes, homemade fudge is the way to go. Definitely. Dude, who the hell eats fudge out of a box? No idea. You haven't lived if you haven't tried homemade fudge. I'm just not into fudge. That's impossible. Everybody likes fudge. There's just fucking obviously something wrong with you. That has to be it. I'm just saying that fudge isn't all that appealing to... Well, I guess... You know, come to think of it, I guess the only fudge I have had was that Little Debbie snack. What, what the fuck? That's not even fudge. The box says it's fudge. <laughs> no, dude. That's prepackaged lies. Yeah, that is not fudge. Then what is it? I don't know, but that's not fudge. Wait, I, I don't even remember having this party chat conversation. Yeah, that's uh, because you're never on Xbox anymore, so uh, you're reading Assist King's part of the conversation. Assist King has replaced you in the Xbox Live party chat. Psh, whatever. Mr. Tretton? Yes? Microsoft released its explanation on Xbox One how it handles gaming. Remember when just calling something a console would immediately answer that question? No need for explanation? Yeah. That was rhetorical. So what does the press release state? Well, several different things. All good for Sony, though. Really? Yeah. You know, they're pretty much doing the exact same thing as we are, but their PR team is so damn shitty, everybody on the internet is hating Microsoft and just giving us a pass. Who is everybody? Boogie, Total Halibut, Angry Joe. You know, internet people. But what does Reddit look like? Like usual, it is covered in memes and stupid pictures that appeal to the lowest common denominator while reinforcing Reddit's user's superiority complex. Most of it is Xbox One hate right now. Good, good. We will watch from upon high as the internet turns Microsoft into a scapegoat for the current condition of the video game community. Are we going to announce our plans at E3? Probably, but we shouldn't have to. Not while the internet is so focused on Microsoft. We could get away with anything. Anything. Video gamers will rue the day that they focus solely on Microsoft. <laughs> Meh, at least PS4 allows users to borrow and lend games to their friends. What? The Xbox One doesn't allow people to do that? Not without certain caveats. Wow. Microsoft is a bucket of dicks. Dude, death, death, come here. Follow me. What? Why? Dude, just, just follow me. What is it? Dude, I need to show you something. Uh, it's not your penis again, is it? It, no, not this time. Well, just, just tell me what it is. <sighs> okay, alright. Do you remember that little skit we did about Sonic Lost World? I recall I butchered City Escape. Yeah, well, you also butchered the truth. What are you talking about? Dude, Sonic Lost World is a Nintendo exclusive. Oh. Oh. Okay. Well, you can't pin that mistake on me. No, why not? I got that story from Kotaku. Wait, what? People still use Kotaku? Sometimes I do. Then, yeah, it's your fault. You know, you should know better than to fucking go to Kotaku for video game news. I mean, especially if you value accurate information. Alrighty, the statement has gone live. Oh, did you make changes to satisfy the consumer? Uh, look, Major Nelson, we listened to your ideas, we talked to our accountants, 
We sat down, and we decided to fucking ignore you. Don, what did you do? Look, we doubled down, motherfucker. Not only did we double down on this bitch, we waved our big dicks in front of the gamers, and we were like, Booyah, check out my junk, bitches. Oh my god. Oh, hell yeah. We told them. <laughs> get this, get this. We told them how all of our decisions were going to benefit them. Oh, y you know, the, the blind fanboys ate that shit up. I think Microsoft has gone too far. Wait, what? Dude, putting a camera with a microphone in every room, telling people where they're allowed to buy their games, telling consumers that they have no right to the physical copy that they bought and paid for? When did we go too far? I... M Major, look, we're just getting started. We haven't gone far enough. Did you know that the Xbox One will be subject to the business records provision of the Patriot Act? 50 U.S.C. Section 1861? I have no idea what that is, but it does not sound good. It's the same provision used to get Verizon to turn over all of their metadata to the NSA. We will help the U.S. government spy on its people. Then we can get some sweet military contracts. Am I working for Cobra Commander now? Do I have to watch out for G.I. Joes with laser guns? <laughs> no, no, no. Security will take care of them.